folks, we are here with Ian. And uh, are you on the streets? Cause yeah, I'm living on the streets at the moment due to circumstances. Yeah, I am. All right. Well, tell us your story. How did you? What, what happened that you are on the streets? Well, I've been living over in England for nearly six and a half years. I moved over here for work in St Andrews, was up in Scotland, and came down here to see my brother and this and nephew. And I was working down here. And then I damaged my leg. Hold well, on, I just show it to the... Yeah, like, damaged my leg. What, what made you homeless? Yeah. Got right. What was your job before you became homeless, before you lost your address? Um, I'm a senior JavaScript software engineer. Now I've got mental health, B's got mental health, so... Why are we out here? So you had an accident. Yeah. A bike accident, you were on a yeah. bike, you were and, probably and drunk, my, right? Yeah, yeah from, from, from uh, cocaine, from heroin, from crack. Tablets, racist. Damage my leg. What happened there? Oh, I had to get a full knee replacement. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, yeah, so I lost my job, couldn't afford to pay the rent, and so I finished up on the streets. So I think uh, lost my passport, so now I can't actually get work at the moment. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to chase up a passport somehow, just so I can work legally again. And um, yeah, like I say, I'm officially, effectively. Don't have any identification. I don't exist in any part of the world at the moment. So I've only got photo copies, not original copies of me. Yeah, you lost your passport. Yeah. And uh, you are you applying to get a new one? Uh? Yeah, but I managed to get Universal Credit. It cost me 400 quid to like get an Australian passport, and I only get 350 a month type thing. So it's hard for me to save up for it. So yeah, like sometimes I just got to buy food and stuff like that, and so it's hard to go. You know, because I got to get to London, the embassy and stuff like that in Australia, like the Australian embassy in London. So yeah, it's yeah, hard times. But, yeah. And you, why Cheltenham? Because you, you had family here. No, I don't have family here. I was like been living on the streets, like, and I got some people that took care of me from a place called Stay Safe P3, but um. Yeah, um, I, I couldn't stay here the whole time, obviously, because I'm from Australia, not local. And so, yeah, and I'm just on the streets at the moment and doing what I can to get by. So how old have how old you been when you moved to the UK? Uh, nearly six and a half years ago, I moved to the oh, UK. Oh, was recent. Was, uh, six and a half years ago, I moved here. It's only been like five months since I haven't been working. But because I've damaged my leg and lost all my identification, I can't get a job. I think. So you're basically feeling kind of down yet? Feeling down, and I, it's like, it's, got, it's almost got nowhere to go. Like, I can't get a job legally, so I think I can't show who I am, I can't, like, get a home or anything, I can't do anything until I work the shit out, but I... You're not worried that you will get bothered from the immigration people? No, because I'm legally here. You are? My mother's English. Oh, right, your mother's And so, yeah, I can stay here for 10 years, so I can stay here for another three and a half years before that's expired. Why don't you apply for English citizenship? Yeah, well, that's a possibility, but I don't even have the uh, identification proper to show that I'm Australian. I see. All right. Is that your, your your mate? Oh uh, yeah, she's one of my friends. She's all right. Okay, Ian. Well, tell me about more about like your, your your childhood and growing up in Australia. How was that in Sydney? Did you say? Yeah, man, it was okay, man. Like I had an abusive relationship with the mother of my children, and um, she took me to court, like saying I molested them. I finished up in court. Cost me a hundred thousand quid, and. Um, just to be able to see my kids shout. Hello. Right. And um, yeah, so I didn't see my children for a lot of me up there growing up. Like from the age of 10 or so, I hardly saw them. Then on social media, I found them you know, about a month and a half before I came over here. And so I went and saw him for the first time in nearly 10 years and explained everything and they understood it. And like, my fiance, uh, my son and his fiance flew over a couple of years ago to see me. Oh, they flew here to, to see See me. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Well, so this is when I was working. But, um, you were working that time? Yeah, yeah, it's only happened until the last five months. I haven't been able to work. Mm -hmm. 
What kind of work do you, did you do? Man, I'm a horticulturalist, greenkeeper by trade, but I was working hard manual labour in a concrete factory with precast concrete and I was a supervisor down there. Mm -hmm. so then, what the fuck is that? Just sit down. Why? Please. It's an interview I'm having with Ian. He's just telling sit about down. his life. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, no, so, uh, yeah, that, that shit sort of started. But, you yeah, know, legally I'm allowed to be here. You know, oh, right. just like fucking, like, waiting on proper identification, like to come through so I can fucking keep going on with life again, type shit. You know, it's just hard when you all want. Everyone calls should be banned, just killing people. Fair enough. <laughs> Sit down for a minute, please. I'm going to ask yeah. no, I'm taking you. If there's somebody watching so she's this, my friends. In, in Australia or, or anywhere else, you know, is there any way that oh, I have a, I have a brother down in the forest today, but I don't speak to my parents much. I've only speak to them once in seven years. Is so there any, any way people can contact you? Have you got a phone number, Facebook or something no. like that? Yeah, you know, I've got a phone number from the other day type thing, but normally we just play smoke signals up each other's ass. Type oh, thing. Yeah, fucking <laughs> 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 Sorry, no. <laughs> Um, no, nah, not really, man, except for my brother. I'll, I'll speak to my brother every few days, type thing, but he's just come back from Australia. Just wait a minute, please. Trust Are me. You in pain? Trust me. You in pain? Can you trust me? Yeah. All right, and if there is an advice to people, uh, yeah, like they are about to end up on the streets, what do, would that be? Would you give an advice? Man, like, if you're going to go through a fucking breakdown before you, like, it's hard to know what's going on at times, type like shit, but like, there's help out there if you ever need it, type shit. Like, don't get it like, to the point where you've fucking got no fucking help like, left. Like, like, nip it on the bud and fucking do something at the start. Yeah, it takes a bigger man to fucking admit that than it does to like, like, like hit rock bottom and like have your friends climb, climb out of it all the time. But like, there's shit out there that you can do to help yourself as well. And like, you know, if you, if you use it all fucking correctly, it's all there for you. It comes down to what's going on up here. But you, know, you can get off the fucking streets, can't get me wrong. Are you going to be on TV? Yes. It's a small YouTube channel. YouTube. I'm, get, I'm getting paid, that's what I'm fucking telling you. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, okay. Ian, well. you interview me as well? I've got a story. You've got yeah. a story as well? Oh, yeah, the, bit, the, the page don't close. The, bit don't close. the two of us sleeping like under a tree together. Uh, we're friends, we've known each other for a long time, but we're not boyfriend, girlfriend as such. As such? Well, we're boy, we're, boy, we're, we're a boy and a girl, we're and we're man friends. Man woman. Exactly. We're man and, woman. and we respect each other, type so thing. Makes for life. And like, so like the two of us like help each other like through hard times. All right. Yeah. You local from from Chelsea. Yeah, right. And she's helped Where me out. Poland. Oh, Spoko. Spoko. <laughs> if I say spear dala, am I not Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tamar Shesky. What about Tamar Shesky Kosi? What's that? Tamar Shesky Kosi. Tamar Shesky Kosi. Yeah. Oh, in Czech. Oh, this Czech. Sorry. Yeah. So, I know Pivo. Pivo? Pivo, yeah. Yeah. Cool Hampshire, what does that mean in Poland? I love you. Yeah. No, cool Hampshire. PMO, because I love you in Italian. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, Spanish and Italian. It's a term French. What's the other one? I learnt the German one, but I forgot the French one. Okay, thank you. But anyway, this interview is about me, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, no, you'll be, you be, be here till midnight, all right? Yeah. yeah. You get a video. Wow, 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 I better I stay. <laughs> Give me the microphone. They yeah, how much is the batteries? <laughs> you, you need two slots for her. Can you turn the story now? Yeah, it's my turn. Yeah, you can have a turn. It's oh, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know yet. Anyway, folks, so how is... It's about life. not about money, it's about life. Yeah, that's what I'm telling a life story as to why I'm here, yeah, like, living no, on the I streets. Couldn't. I'm living on the streets and he's asking me why and I'll just explain my name, my passport, I'm from Australia, I've worked all my life, yeah. got here. Yeah, continue please. Yeah, but yeah, like, like I say, man. Like, so what's your plans for future, Ian? What, what are you? Uh, I've got into the anal bead business. <laughs> You're going to make him millions. <laughs> 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 man, I can fit 52 cock rings on. Right. Man, I'm setting world record. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
sorry, I've got to have a sense of humour on the streets, okay? Like, it's not just me. Like, my brother does that shit too. Um, <laughs> and so it's mum. But, <laughs> I, um, yeah, no, like, like I say, it, it's tough. I, I've got to rope a few fucking bits and pieces here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Well, at least it's positive. He's on the street. Uh, it, it's, like, positive. Uh, it's just that's a friendly a moment that somebody's actually it's came. Moment. <laughs> oh yeah, it's friendly moment that somebody's happy to come and share themselves with me. <laughs> and um, I appreciate everything that I get that's given to me. <laughs> you know. Like the closest I've been to a box for a while is a coffin. <laughs> but like, no, like, yeah, no, like, like I say, I've just got to try and like, I'm working with um, Social Security at the moment, trying to see what I can and can't do, seeing what the um, Australian government can do to help me and shit like that. But you know, I haven't given up. You know, like, if I had given up, man, I'd have been jumping in front of that car. You wouldn't sit here having an interview with me. Wait a minute. Yeah, don't give up, Jan. Well, I wish you all the best. I wish you. Yeah. You get your passport and go to take your last to Australia. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sheila, you know, I'm the Fuck that, man. We lost all that fucking bag. <laughs> get back to well, see your family. Yeah. You're part of my family now for having a chance to speak to me. Like you took the opportunity to come well, and have a look at Zupa vlog on YouTube. Can comment. you write the name down, please? Yes, I will. Find yeah. Thank you. And but no, look, man, I, I appreciate the, the respect that you actually came and sat there and spoke to me if I need any help and stuff like that. Yes. I appreciate that one. That's like, seriously. Like, All that's, the best, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. All right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Cheers, folks. I give you the